أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله we have one more chance to meet today to talk about the beauty and the value of infaq or giving sadaqa in Islam especially in the months of Ramadan um, the reward for which is very much multiplied before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so even though today is the last day of Ramadan and uh, only half day is left uh, to say uh, salam to our Ramadan and inshallah with the great hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept all our good deeds and dua and prayers and everything that we have done in this month and um, even though it's just a half day is left we try to maximize the benefit out of it before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so uh, we continue to focus on uh, the text of Sharia which means uh, ayats from the Quran and the hadith of Prophet Sallallahu and to benefit from that so um, in uh, previous sessions uh, we mentioned few ayats and hadith and we extracted uh, um, interesting points from each of them uh, that would benefit us to understand better the, the text of Sharia and how much um, it is valuable uh, you know uh, to, to, to understand the concept of nafaqa and uh, sadaqa <coughs> Uh, the the status of nafaqa and sadaqa is very high uh, before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, it has a very great reward we mentioned in our previous uh, in our last session that in uh, some of the ayats uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned sadaqa in uh, certain ayats uh, immediately after iman to that extent so you can see the level of importance of uh, nafaqa or sadaqa once it is mentioned immediately after uh, iman uh, we usually bring the comparison between this and uh, how zakat is important for example when it's mentioned always next to salat to aqimu salat to atu zakat so iman is mentioned and uh, today we are going to bring another ayah or few ayats among which you find one ayah um, where sadaqa is mentioned even before the taqwa we can say even before because taqwa comes only with iman so we can say that sadaqa is mentioned in this case even before taqwa before iman so uh, Allah says وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا يَغْشَى وَالنَّهَارِ إِذَا تَجَلَّى وَمَا خَلَقَ الذَّكَرَ وَالْأُنْثَى إِنَّ سَعِيكُمْ لَشَتَّى فَأَمَّا مَنْ أَعْطَى وَالتَّقَى وَصَدَّقَ بِالْحُسْنَى فَسَنُيَسِّرُهُ لِلْيُسْرَى Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by the night when it cowers you know uh, by the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, has right to swear by anything that he created but we as the slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we have right only to swear in the name of Allah only by Allah anything else that is created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cannot be used um, as a subject to swear upon only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, by the night when it covers so he says I swear by the night when it covers the whole dunya when everything becomes dark and by the day when it appears uh, when the obvious daytime comes he who created the male and female uh, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, uh, he he swears by himself because male and female created only by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then by swearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says what indeed your efforts are diverse so in the sa'ikum lashatta so some will go to paradise some will go to uh, hellfire well yes billah and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after that says as for uh, regarding those who give uh, and fears Allah you know and believes in the best reward we will ease him toward ease so it's like by swearing all these ayats by swearing all these 
uh, night time, day time, uh, and by himself, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is the one who created uh, males and females and everything. He says that your 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 efforts or your destinations are the reverse. Some will go to Jannah, some will go to paradise. So then the question comes, uh, and then uh, uh, what should be done in order to get to paradise? As for he who gives, huh? but the one But the one who gives nafaka sadaqa hmm? and has fear from Allah subhanahu wa taala and وَصَدَّقَ بِالْحُسْنَةِ And he believes in the best reward that he, يوم القيام القيام Allah subhanahu will give and maybe even in this dunya Allah subhanahu will give. What will happen for that? فَسَنُ يَسْسِرُهُ لِلْسْرَةِ For that type of person, for that person Allah subhanahu says will ease reward for him, toward him. I mean will make things easy for him in this dunya and يوم القيام inshallah. So uh, here in this ayat, in the composition of this ayat, so you can see how much uh, focus is made on giving sadaqa or nafaqa. So uh, having this half day uh, still uh, left out of this uh, Ramadan, please try to utilize and get benefit out of this. So <clears throat> uh, these are the points that we extract uh, from this uh, from these ayats. Uh, it's like Allah Spawn makes this very serious introduction by bringing all these different things, night time, day, and uh, that he created everything. And then uh, he says uh, that we are going to have uh, different efforts, and which means different destinations will be there, the end results. So we have to struggle hard to be among the blessed ones. So if we want to save ourselves. So in uh, in another uh, place, we find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes Abu Bakr. Uh, Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, um, all, almost all ulama agreed that a person that is meant by these following ayats is Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu. May Allah be pleased with him. Uh, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes uh, those who are uh, going to be in hellfire and so and so, and Allah subhanahu says, وَسَيُجَنِّبُ هَلْ أَتْقَى Mm-hmm. And, uh, and then continues الَّذِي يُؤْتِ مَا لَهُ يَتَزَكَّى وَمَا لِأَحَدٍ عِنْدَهُ مِنْ نِعْمَةٍ دُجْزَى إِلَّا بْتِغَاءَ وَجْهِ رَبِّي الْعَلَى وَلَا صَوْفَ يَرْضَى So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says by the righteous one will avoid it but the righteous one will avoid it so uh, avoid this uh, hellfire uh, the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how, how does he do it? how to avoid it? how does it happen? he who gives from his wills to purify himself. You see, he who gives uh, of, of his wills to purify, to purify himself. So whenever we give sadaqa or nafaqa, we are basically uh, purifying ourselves. <clears throat> it's very important to understand. And not giving for anyone who has done for him a favor to be rewarded. Not because, like for example, if you are giving something to someone, okay, this person has done something to me good before before this so that's why i'm like paying back no 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 it's just one side one way huh? i give it because for what only seeking the countenance or pleasure from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is the only uh, intention that he has uh, and uh, he is uh, and then uh, he is going to be uh, satisfied and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says eventually he is going to be satisfied so Sadaqah will help, uh, will help us. So once Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes Abu Bakr, so this ayah is not limited for him, only for his actions. He's talking about him because he had that character. So if we have this type of character and attitude, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make us, inshallah, among those, uh, uh, you know, uh, those, uh, upon those who these ayats are applicable, okay, to avoid the hellfire. And... Uh, <clears throat> And uh, it is clear that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala openly declares that he accepted the sadaqah uh, from Abu Bakr subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, accordingly, if he accepted it from Abu Bakr, we also uh, have right to hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept it from us if we do it sincerely. Sadaqah must be done sincerely. 
yeah and only to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's why he says but only seeking the countenance only seeking the uh, 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 pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and most importantly here um, uh, you know after this ayat what we find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised the paradise how does he say did he mention any jannah no he says and he is going to be satisfied so he will be satisfied and satisfaction cannot be for any Muslim satisfaction is only when he gets to paradise so it is by default understood that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, uh, has prepared uh, this type of reward uh, for those who give sincerely seeking the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not because you are paying back to someone but because uh, you do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you are not anticipating, you are not expecting anything from that person only the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, we can bring another ayah uh, from Surah Al-Baqarah الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ أَمْوَالُهُمْ بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ سِرًّا وَعَلَى نِيَةً فَلَهُمْ أَجْرُهُمْ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ وَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ this is uh, 274 from Surah Al-Baqarah uh, let's have uh, a quick uh, look at the uh, certain points from Sur uh, from uh, Tafsir al-Mawardi and Nukat wal Uyun. Um, it's not only in uh, in his uh, in his Tafsir is mentioned actually this type of points, but uh, from, we just take it as an example. So uh, from this ayat, uh, Imam al-Mawardi. Uh, Rahimullah, what, did, what does he say? اختلفوا في سب نزوله أو نزولها على ثلاثة أقابيل. For the uh, reason, uh, you know, for this ayah to be revealed, most ulama says there were three reasons. One of them that it is um, uh, because Ali radiAllahu anhu, uh, he had four dirhams. There was one case. He had four dirhams. And he spent one dirham, uh, you know, during the night time. And uh, he spent uh, one dirham during daytime, and one dirham openly, and one dirham secretly. So four dirhams he spent. And this narration is coming from uh, Ibn Abbas, radiallahu anhu. Some of the ulama said it is reliable narration. Some said, but still it is acceptable narration. Uh, and uh, they say it was uh, uh, the, the money that he spent for Ahl Sufa, those who were in Medina. They say there were around uh, 400 people uh, in, in, in Medina, people who devoted themselves for studying Quran, understanding Quran, the Hadith of Prophet in, in those days. So he spent it for them, but those people were very, um, I mean, we can say financially less fortunate financially but otherwise they were mashallah very uh, valuable people before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the second reason uh, that can be for this uh, ayat to be revealed uh, is that um, uh, about those this ayah is talking about those who spent for the horse that are used by mujahideen fi sabilillah because they need to feed the horse they need to water the horses and take care of them uh, be it openly or secretly whatever so this is uh, another reason the third one the third reason uh, or the third possibility for this ayah that it can it uh, it was revealed about those who spent generally generally feasibility so including in ramadan or just in ordinary time at any time so there is a great hope for us to be um, uh, you know uh, the, the main subject of this ayah inshallah if we uh, give sadaqah inshallah in ramadan or even after ramadan and of course uh, there is uh, the fourth one uh, uh, according to al mawardi that uh, for example if you have a garden if you have um, any orchard uh, that uh, you make your niya that anybody that pass by will take some fruit or even the birds will take the um, people who pass by they take for example day night time openly secretly night time whatever you make your intention let it be halal so this can be also uh, included among those 
uh, you know, possible reasons uh, regarding whom these ayats were revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of course, there is a lot to talk about, but the time is limited. So our today's session, even though it is last in this uh, Ramadan, um, and uh, uh, but we still hope, inshallah, that we reminded ourselves with these ayats, and we hope that we benefited from this. And uh, may Allah make us uh, among those whose uh, deeds are accepted, dua are accepted, uh, and um, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to strengthen our iman, uh, and uh, I wish all of you uh, Eid Mubarak, and Mukullu Aam wa Antum Bikhair, inshallah, wa jazakum Allah khairan, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.